our text, 1 Corinthians 6 verse 12. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Our heading, shun worldly company. Sometimes Christians become very hungry and thirsty when they are banished from the means of grace. Poor as our ministry may be, yet there are many of God's children who would miss it more than their daily food if it were taken away from them. God's servants, whom he calls to the work of the ministry, are bound to think very little of themselves, and yet the loaves and fishes which they distribute to the multitudes are by no means to be lightly esteemed. The people would faint by the way if they had not them. Firstly, I know that when you travel for pleasure or roam by the seaside, for health or go on vacation, if you go to a place of worship on the Sabbath and find no spiritual bread, you fall into a miserable state of mind and sigh to spend your Sabbath where the children's portion is dealt out liberally and all the servants have bread enough to spare. David loved the very doors of the Lord's house, and he thirsted and craved, because he was shut out from the sanctuary's privileges, and it was especially for that reason that he speaks of himself as being in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. Second, the same may happen when we are denied the sweets of Christian intercourse, David had poor company when he was in the wilderness in the days of Saul. His friends were not much better than free booters and runaways, whom he would never have selected, as friends had not the necessities of his own condition and of the political situation rendered it necessary that he should become a captain over them. They were a strange band of men, made up chiefly of those who were in debt and discontented, the rebellious against Saul's wretched administration, men of broken fortunes and suspected loyalty. Application Believers are to keep out of worldly company, and yet it sometimes happens that providence throws the child of God among the ungodly, like Obadiah in the family of Ahab. Nehemiah in the palace of Artaxerxes, and Daniel in the court of Darius. Your lot is hard if you are called to dwell among the worldlings, for they have power to injure your piety, but they cannot help you. I pray, O oh Father God, especially for our children, I pray that you will grant them wisdom in the selection of their friends. In Jesus' name, Amen.